but I want everyone listening to understand there's a special um, webinar as well as in-person event happening at the UNLV, ironically, where the next presidential debate is happening, but a few weeks later on Sunday, November 13th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, and that is going to be a intensive for three hours on the cosmic false flag that will cover a lot of these issues of who has put in to the system since the 1940s and 50s uh, the, the narrative and the agenda that has been laying the foundation for an interplanetary conflict. Why are they doing it? <clears throat> and very importantly, this is way beyond the scope of the movie Unacknowledged, um, what are the technologies being used? So what I'm going to go into on that uh, webinar, which you're all invited to join as well as the, if you can be there in person, even better, um, it's at the Greenspun Auditorium, and we'll soon send out a notice about this. It's not up on our website yet. We've just now planned this event. And we're really wanting to, to go into very deep background on the electronic warfare systems that are behind a lot of experiences people have had, how consciousness affecting technologies, so-called quantum holographic, electronics that affect awareness have been developed since the 40s and 50s that have targeted people that have induced abduction states uh, and what those technologies are, how they're doing it, which corporations are involved, um, what counterintelligence uh, operations are involved, how they stagecraft it. Um, and it's also going to go into a, big, a deep discussion of the so-called secret space program what part of that is real, what isn't, uh, what the experiences are that people, um, such as um, Dr. Fred Bell, who's passed away, uh, but who I knew very well, who was an MK Ultra baby. He was given by his parents um, at birth to the CIA as an MK Ultra baby to be indoctrinated as a genius, but also to be mind controlled, and what those programs entail and how long they've been going on. Now, if you Google MK Ultra, you'll see that, that there was a Senate hearing in the 70s by the church hearings, and Senator Church was appalled because MK Ultra was using LSDs and other hallucinogens. What did not come out during that hearing is are the electronic warfare systems that interface with thought and consciousness that can induce, frankly, electronic hallucinations. Um, and just to give you a, a, a sort of a sense of what's going to be at this webinar and, and that I'm going to present, in the, the early 1990s, I met a man who had developed for the, in the intelligence community an electronic system that by 1956 would enable them to completely uh, target people and give them experiences that were scripted. And this, of course, begins to explain a lot of the experiences that people like Corey Good and uh, Bill Tompkin and others that you've been hearing about have had. And these people have actually, like Dr. Bell, who is a, the great uh, nephew of Alexander Graham Bell, by the way, um, were victims of these programs. But the programs were designed to create a sort of scripted Armageddon and have people have experiences that they truly believe are real but that were completely scripted by the intelligence community. And most people have no idea of these capabilities. They need to know what they are. There are a lot of whistleblowers coming forward right now about this. And in fact, there's a whole organization dealing with the whistleblowers who have been in DARPA and different corporations, et cetera, who have, who have witnessed the, these sort of abuses. And uh, the man that I met with in the 90s who developed the early, one of the early systems uh, in 1956, so that was 60 years ago, it told me very directly that they could target someone and have them have an experience, and he used this as an example, where they had a conversation with their personal God, Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, who, Moses, whoever, and that the person would believe it and that they would pass a lie detector test that it is real. And when you take that technological capability 
And then the government documents we acquired that talk about the hoaxing and the psychological warfare value of the UFO subject and how easy it would be to move the public <coughs> excuse me, in the direction of a fear-based reaction to the ET presence. Now, a lot of people say, why would they want to do that? Well, you have to be able to acculturate people into hatred and fear to justify any war. And so something this large, as Werner von Braun said, they went through this whole period after World War II. The first there would be the Cold War, then there would be nations of concern, and then there would be global terrorism, which, by the way, we talked about before 9-11. And then there would be the threat from outer space. And the big one they would play would be the quote-unquote alien threat. Now, remember, this was planned in the 50s and was hatched. So it's been over 60 years that they have been developing this narrative. And so what this webinar is going to be about, and this lecture, for those of you who can come in person, is pulling the curtain back on the Wizard of Oz. that has been pulling the levers and confusing and hoaxing things for over 60 years. And I think it's very important that this be done because otherwise, uh, with what's been happening with the uh, WikiLeaks revelations, uh, the fact that you have a major presidential candidate and her chief of staff, John Podesta and Hillary Clinton, talking on television interview shows about the UFO subject, even the New York Times has reported some of this. It used to be completely banned. I'm concerned that they're actually ramping up the timeline to hoax the big one, uh, something that would be a cosmic 9-11, a, a sort of cosmic massive false flag operation. And I think it's very important that we get, to the extent we can, uh, a warning out to the public about this and the, what the agenda is and what the means and methods, uh, as they would say in, in the intelligence community, are for hoaxing this sort of uh, event. And so that's going to be a very detailed presentation. I hope those of you who can can be there in person or join in on the webinar. 